problems and the frustrations weren't limited to Pearson Airport. The cold also froze Toronto's transit system. Many schools were closed and the city's homeless shelters are overflowing. Christina Stevens is following the broader impact of this polar vortex. You could barely see Lake Ontario through the cold, creating frigid postcard perfection for this photographer. One of my life goals is to get to Antarctica, so this is going to be a little preparation. Beautiful from this perspective, but dangerous from another. As temperatures plummeted, homeless people faced a tough night. This shelter filled up to capacity. I don't know what they'd do if we didn't have them. I really don't, I haven't got a clue where to be. When he left the shelter, Farhang Safi ran to keep warm. You know, this is cold for me. And commuters found themselves chilling, waiting for streetcars that couldn't leave the yard because of frozen tracks. So cold, <laughs> it's freezing. People coped however they could. If you put Vaseline on your face, it gives it a coat and protects it against. Uh, you know, being uh, frostbit. My head is actually hurting. I'm getting brain freeze. This guy has frost on his eyelashes. I can't feel it. <laughs> the temperature dropped down to below minus 20. Then the wind chill dragged it down to nearly minus 40. And that wind chill matters. You're going to lose t uh, heat, body, uh, core temperature much quicker and get into those serious conditions like hypothermia, frostbite, etc. Some schools in the region were closed. Parents had to come and get kids from this school when it shut down partway through the day because it had no heat. Depends on the classrooms. So right now we're fluctuating between uh, 11 degrees and 18 degrees. I put on all my clothes except for my snow pants. In London, Ontario, Western University canceled classes for the day. Still, some students ventured out. I thought it was bundled up, but my face. I think your tears just froze. My tears froze. I have ice cold. <laughs> While in Ottawa, visitors found it a bit of a shock to the system. My, my lips are freezing up. I can hardly talk. And there's relief in sight. Temperatures will be above zero for southern Ontario, Quebec, and Atlantic Canada by the end of the week. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.